Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. And of course, let's get started right away. And we're going to look at units of measurement here and how they're related and how we can use decimals actually to relate these two. So we're going to look at some relationships among these units that we can use to measure lengths. And we're going to focus on millimeters, centimeters, and meters today. And we can read the length of this toy boat in several ways. I have the toy boat, so you can see the ruler. And if we're talking centimeters, um, we're talking about the top row there. This boat is nine centimeters long. Okay, centimeters long, nine centimeters. And you can see that nine centimeters right there. But since one centimeter is 10 millimeters, one centimeter is 10 millimeters, then nine centimeters is 90 millimeters. So this boat could also be 90 millimeters long. And if you don't believe me, look between um, each of these centimeters and there's 10 equal pieces there, 10 equal pieces, hint, hint, and this can be used to show measurement. And we can convert it to millimeters. Or, since one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter, then nine centimeters is nine hundredth of a meter. So this boat is nine hundredths of a meter long. Say what? Yeah, I circled that. We're talking about decimals here. One centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. That means that one 100 centimeters equals one meter. And so with 100 centimeters being a hole, one hole, then each centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. And so if I could apply that one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter, nine centimeters is nine hundredths of a meter. So we gotta remember here that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And so remember that place value here thing here? Well, one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter because there needs to be 100 centimeters before it is a whole meter. And if it's less than one whole meter, we can write that as a decimal. I'd like you to consider this chart. And for this video, this chart is our, our handy reference. So one millimeter equals one tenth of a centimeter. That means 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. One centimeter equals 10 millimeters. One meter equals 1000 millimeters. Let me say that again, 1,000 millimeters are in one meter. One millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. One centimeter is one hundredth of a meter, which we just learned. And one meter is just simply 100 centimeters. Now I'm gonna have to do a little language lesson here just to get some understanding here. Um, those Roman guys um, spoke something called Latin. And Latin is used as a base for a few different languages, French, Spanish, and Italian. I'm gonna use French here for a second. Well, do you know why we call it millimeters and centimeters? Well, um, let's talk about millimeters. Millimeters, spelt like so, is um, got a root here, milli. And so in French, the word for thousand is mille. And so this is saying 1,000 millimeters is made up of one meter. And similar, centimeters, centimeters, we have that centa here, and in French, uh, for 100 is cent, and sometimes with an E on the end, depends if it's masculine or feminine, I'm not getting into French here, but cent, and that means 100, so 100 centimeters equals one meter. So you can see the language connection here, and this can help you, actually, if you think about it. Well, millimeter, oh, 1,000 are in a meter. Centimeter, oh, 100 in a meter. You can use that information to apply it to these decimals. So let's do some together and we'll, we'll work through this. So let's, let's change two meters to millimeters. And so if one meter equals a thousand millimeters, so two times a thousand millimeters would equal 2000 millimeters. So two meters equals 2000 millimeters. All right, I'm going to get you to try this one. I want you to change six meters to millimeters. Pause it, come back when you're ready. So if one meter equals 1,000 millimeters, I'm going to do six times 1,000 millimeters, and that would be six meters equals 6,000 millimeters. All right, well, let's change 23 millimeters to meters. So remember there's 1,000 millimeters in one meter. 
So, one millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. And we can change that, as we learned in previous lessons, to one thousandth of a millimeter. And if you haven't watched in the previous videos, remember that's the thousandths place, so that means something. So now we want to change 23. So 23 millimeters would be out of a thousand millimeters. And so we can change that to this decimal. Now, why is there a zero again? If you remember, the 3 in 23 has to land on this place value, which is that spot there. So that leaves that zero there. So 23 millimeters equals 23 thousandths of a meter. It's very important to put uh, the units um, that we're working with on, on your answer. I'm going to try this one. Let's change 41 millimeters to meters. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, please remember that 1,000 millimeters equals one meter. Therefore, one one thousandth um, equals that for a meter. Okay, and that's one millimeter. And so we're dealing with 41. So 41 out of a thousand equals so of a meter. So 41 millimeters equals 41 thousandths of a meter. Uh, let's change 12 millimeters to centimeters. And so please remember there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So that means that one tenth of a centimeter equals one tenth of a centimeter. And so if I have 12, I have 12 out of 10. Well, I only need 10. So if that's 12 tenths of a centimeter, I do have one hole because I have 10 plus two left over which would become that, so um, one and two tenths of a centimeter. So 12 millimeters equals one and two tenths of a centimeter. I'm gonna get you to try this one. I'd like you to change two here. Let's try five millimeters and then 31 millimeters into centimeters. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so please remember that 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. And so for the first one, five millimeters, that's 5 out of 10. 5 millimeters out of possible 10 uh, millimeters equals um, 5 tenths of a centimeter. And similarly, let's uh, change the 31 millimeters. So I have um, 31 out of 10 millimeters. And I only need 10, but I have 30 plus 1. So that is going to equal 3 and 1 tenths of a centimeter. All right, let's try changing 23 centimeters to meters. So please remember that 100 centimeters equals meters. Remember that cente, cent, 100 equals one meter. Um, so what we're gonna do here is one centimeter is one one hundredth um, of a meter equals, um, we're going to the hundredths place because that's what's going on here. So once one hundredth of a centimeter equals um, one hundredth of a meter. And so if we're doing 23 centimeters, that's 23 out of 100, which equals 23 hundredths of a meter. And so 23 centimeters equals 23 hundredths of a meter. All right, I'm going to get you to try this one. Let's change 57 centimeters to meters. Pause it, come back when you're ready. Okay, so 57 centimeters. Well, 100 centimeters equals one meter. We are definitely less with 57 than 100. So 57 out of 100 possible centimeters. And that equals 57 hundredths of a meter. All right, this is the last one. Let's try changing 178 centimeters to meters. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so please remember that 100 centimeters equals one meter. Are we over 100 on there? Yeah, we are. So we have 178 out of a possible 100 that we need, and this is centimeters. 
And so I already have one hole, that's the 100 here, but I have 78 left over. One and 78 hundredths of a meter. So 178 centimeters equals one and 78 hundredths of a meter. All right, so there you have it. We're dealing with changing units of measurement. With the metric system, everything's based on base 10. So um, we can convert things very easily between millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Uh, you notice we didn't go into kilometers. We're not going to go there, you know, in this in this year. But um, we could possibly go that route. If you're having trouble with this, please remember either the language, you know, the milli centimeters, millimeters, centimeters. If you have this copy down, this is really handy too. This can help be a good reference for you um, to remember what it is, and you could use it for your your work coming up. All right, guys, this is real life stuff here. So please remember, in life, math happens. Take care. <music>